After successfully upgrading ELRS on both my pockets and also on three EP1 um, receivers on drones, I went back to have another look and think about upgrading the, uh, the pocket itself. I've one particular issue, so what I'll do, I'll turn it on. Okay, so throttle now. Okay, and what I had wrong was, or what wouldn't work, was getting a audible readout of how long the uh, drone had been armed for. And that generally correlates with um, how long the flight is. So I zero the timer just before I start, and then I, I, uh, then I start, then I arm it and it starts ticking down. So it's already been armed before, so if I press the momentary switch behind it, I'm getting a readout of how long I've been in the air for, which is Two kind of, minutes. When I disarm it, it stops counting, of course. Um, I used to have the uh, that timer on this switch here, but um, I moved it across because the momentary switch wasn't used for anything else. So, 13 I'll, hours, 18 minutes. I'll put time of day on this one, no particular reason, just because I could, I guess, and I'm not using it for anything. And while I'm here, the uh, switch on the other side, that's kind of handy. I actually use it zero, for um, zero volts. when I'm bound to a drone, that zero milliwatts, it'll tell me 25 milliwatts to start with the... Uh, so I've got the ranger module on this one, so um, when I press that switch and I've connected to a drone, it'll tell me 25 milliwatts, which is the starting um, power. On the other one, it'll say 10 milliwatts. So it's just an easy way to, if I can't see the RP1 flashing its green light, to know whether I'm armed or not. Okay, that's enough of an intro. So now I'll show you the uh, steps I went through, a couple of pages from doc Doco documentation if I found that helped me, but then a series of screenshots of what I actually see on the pocket as I go through the update process. So uh, I hope it's useful. On with the show. Following on from the demonstration of how I use the switches, here's a little bit of the code behind it. Um, I've actually moved some functions in the global function that used to be in the model because I realise I use arm disarm for every one of my models but also you can see the timer which is FTA I just renamed timer one and uh, time which is time of day and then the backlight which I picked up from Captain Drone to dim the display and here we are this is the Buddy TX site where I downloaded the um, version 2.10.2 for the pocket you specify what radio you got and you can just download the binary file there's other ways to do it but I found it's the most straightforward way Here's the first page of the manual. It goes on about SD card preparation. Very useful. It shows you how to overwrite the current contents of the card without losing your models or any other thing else to change, which is great. Um, and then the second page of it goes through great details how you actually uh, upgrade the firmware. So it's worth a good read of that. I found it very, uh, very useful and straightforward. So from here, we're going to go into the actual screens on the pocket as they came up. So this is the firmware directory uh, on the SD card and press on that and here's the contents and directly above the readme file is the, uh, the binary file I downloaded. Uh, it doesn't tell you what it is, but it's 210. And then you press hold that down and you can flash the bootloader. So that's what I went for. And after a while you get back flash successful. At this point the instruction is to turn off the radio. So you restart it, this time in a weird way, you hold the two trim buttons in towards the middle, press the start button, and away it goes. After some scratchy stuff on the screen, you wind up with this screen, you take your finger off, and of course the option you want is write the firmware. Um, and at the end you'll get writing complete. If you've downloaded the wrong, wrong binary, it'll, it'll kind of tell you when you do this. So this is what I had to start with. That factory version is actually 2.9, and what I've got after the update is 2.10. Point two, and it tells you that with the version. So good straightforward process, very happy.